Good morning, Winter Haven. I'm Cheyenne. And I'm Connor. And you're watching BDTV for Monday, March 7th, 2011. Coming up on today's show, teach me how to study and the facts about SAT and ACT. Megan, did you know that someone who drops out of high school will miss out on an average of $630,000 of income over their life? That's a lot of money. Yeah, it is. And today's SAT question has to do with critical reading. The question is, because the pandas had already been weakened by disease and drought, a harsh winter would have had blank consequences for them. The choices are A, preventive, B, regressive, C, catastrophic, D, unforeseen, or E, moderate. Zach will have the answer towards the end of the show. And attention seniors, cap and gown pictures will be taken on campus this Thursday, March 10th. For an appointment, please see Mrs. Pritchard in room 65. The last day to make an appointment will be tomorrow. And prom tickets will be sold starting March 28th. If you have any obligations and plan on attending prom, please see Mrs. Sia or Mrs. Moore to pay them. The last day to pay off obligations will be March 31st. And there are many community service opportunities, so if you're interested, please see Mrs. Bachman. Yes. In the office, there is a form to nominate teachers for the Above and Beyond Award. The Academic Booster Club is sponsoring this new award to teachers who have gone above and beyond for students at Winter Haven. Parents and students are invited to nominate teachers who they feel go the extra mile to make Winter Haven High School and its students a success. Did you know that good studying techniques start by taking notes in class? I did not know that, but now I do. And let's go check out Teach Me How to Study. Bro, I got this test tomorrow, and I, I haven't even opened the book. Yes. I need to study. I just, I really don't know how to study to tell you the truth. Like, I, me I got a test today, man. I, I haven't studied one bit. Dang. I'm gonna fail it unless someone teaches me how to study. Somebody needs to teach us how to study. But who can teach us how to study? They be like, Herb, what? Can you teach me how to study? You know why? Because all my students love me. All you need is for me to teach you something and for you to study for the test so you don't fuck it. Get it. Pull your book out your bag, read it left to right. Girl, you know you can't be watching Jersey Shore tonight Cause you're gonna try to get up early in the morning time And study fast just so you can pass my class All day. I'm trying to make you kids more a studio so Study hard and take the test with your eyes closed Bet I'm joking while y'all choking on my test though Wasn't born yesterday, I heard a spark note Teach me how to study, teach me, teach me how to study Teach me how to study, teach me, teach me how to study All the students love it, all the, all the students love it all the students love it. Don't be talking while I study. Teach me how to study. Teach me, teach me how to study. Teach me how to study. Teach me, teach me how to study. All the students love it. All the, all the students love it. All the students love it. Don't be talking while I study. Well, I bet the 2.7 million students in Florida know how to study. I bet they do, and the new scholarship bulletin is out. Be sure to pick one up in the front office or check it out online at www.polk-fl.net slash whhs. Attention seniors, this year we will be bringing back the tradition of prom king and prom queen. It will only be to the first 20 guys and 20 girls that qualify to be considered. Please see Ms. Alexander for more information. And there will be a student council meeting this Wednesday, March 9th after school in Portable G8. All members should bring their $10 for their t-shirts. Megan, did you know that breakfast is the most important meal of the day? I actually did. That's why I always eat a good breakfast. That's good. Breakfast is good. You should make sure you always have a nutritional breakfast. Let's go check out some ACT and SAT facts. One of the most stressful parts of high school can be taking the college admission test, the ACT and the SAT. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have to be that scary. Mm -hmm. I'm Victoria. And I'm Cheyenne with BDTV. And we just happen to be experts on this topic. Usually people take the test during their junior and senior years. SAT stands for Scholastic Aptitude Test. It tests you on reading, writing, and math skills. And it's a good idea to become familiar with the test format and question types before you take the actual test. CollegeBoard.com offers free practice tools for both tests. Free! One thing to keep in mind about the SAT is the fact that it will not count against you to leave some questions unanswered. But if you can narrow it down to two answers, it's a good idea to fill in that bubble. The other test we need to tell you about is the ACT. The American College Test. Man, does that sound intimidating. But it's really not that bad. <laughs> this one only covers four skill areas. English, math, reading, and science. You can also take the optional writing test. Remember that it is to your advantage to answer every question on the test. Every question, even if you don't know it. 
Just like with the SAT, it's a good idea to look over the practice material. You can find this at ACT.org. SAT and the ACT are two completely different tests. But both are crucial parts of applying for college. The scores you get can determine whether you're accepted or you're not. But don't stress. Stay in school. Yes, you need to stay in school. Mm -hmm. And you'll do amazing. That's right. This has been Cheyenne. And Victoria with BDTV. Excuse us, but we need to finish studying. Well, the SAT and ACT are two pretty important tests, especially if you're planning on going to one of the 3,500 schools in Florida. Seniors, if you met with a Polk State College representative last week, you need to see Mrs. Bachman to have your transcript attached to your scholarship application. This needs to be done by March 14th. The HOSA Club will be having a texting and driving project on Wednesday behind the cafeteria. Students with a signed permission slip will be able to participate during lunch and after school. Juniors, we are looking for students to help make prom decorations. Please see Mrs. A and B22 if you are interested. Anyone who plans on attending prom and wants to invite someone, you must see Mrs. A and B22 for an application. A guest is defined as a freshman, sophomore, or someone that is not a student at Winter Haven High School that is invited by a junior or senior. Now let's go to Connor and Cheyenne for the rest of the announcements. Thanks, Zach. This month's key to character is tolerance. Tolerance is the ability to recognize and respect the beliefs, customs, or differences of others. Now back to the SAT question. The question was, because the pandas had already been weakened by disease and drought, a harsh winter would have had blank consequences for them. The choices are A, preventive, B, regressive, C, catastrophic, D, unforeseen, or E, moderate. The answer is C. Because the pandas had already been weakened by disease and drought, a harsh winter could have had catastrophic consequences for them. You can infer using context clues that being weakened by disease and drought will have a negative effect on the pandas. Catastrophic is the best choice because it means liable to cause widespread damage or death. Wow, this week's word of the week is quirk. A quirk is a peculiarity of behavior or an unaccountable act or event. Used in a sentence, Connor has the strangest quirk. Anytime someone touches his food, he screams. Well, that's true. Mm -hmm. And well, that's all for today, Winter Haven. I'm Connor. And I'm Cheyenne. Have a great day.